Hi everybody, uh, it's Father Cliff. I'm here with a special guest, Lori. And uh, Lori's gonna take a minute to introduce, introduce herself and, uh, and her son. And my guess is that it's not gonna be um, news for many of us because we're so familiar with, uh, with this great story. But Lori, share a little bit about your story. Sure, I am the very proud mother of Corporal Kyle Schneider, uh, who grew up in Baldwinsville and was extremely dedicated to his family, community, and country. And Kyle uh, served in the United States Marine Corps uh, from 2008 to 2011. And he was stationed in Washington, D.C. Uh, until he said to his gunnery sergeant that it was his turn, uh, his turn to bring home a brother, a son, a father, a husband, and he deployed to Afghanistan. Now what you might not know is that um, this was the third time that he asked his gunnery um, to be deployed, uh, and the first two times he was denied. Tell everybody why he was denied. Most times we think that um, a denial like that is because we're not living up to what we should be or we need to do something better, but it was just the opposite. It was truly the opposite. His gunnery sergeant the first two times said to him, Schneider, you're not going to go anywhere. You're one of my best squad leaders I have. You're staying right here. And it was the third time that he went in and stood in Gunny's doorway and Gunny was standing in his office and he said, Gunny, have a seat. And Gunny tells us that at that point he looked up in, in his doorway, there was Schneider. And Schneider, he said to him, Schneider, proceed lightly. Mm. And then Kyle said, Gunny, it's my turn to bring home a brother, a son, a father, a husband. Gunny, send me to a deploying unit. And Gunny said he knew at that time when he looked at his door frame, and here stood this magnificent Marine that his destiny was far above and beyond his control, and that he knew that uh, he would be sending him to a deploying unit. So it wasn't only his, um, his words that were convincing, but also he was, uh, he was uh, substantial, right? He was 6'2", standing in the doorway. It's the third time that he came to Gunnery. Yes. Uh, and it was important for him to share with Gunny that this was a value that he had and that he wanted to be very deliberate about making sure that he understood that. Yes. Um, and we talked a little about, about uh, you know, how Kyle uh, developed his personality. And I had asked you the question, you know, um, what traits did he have that you have? And you shared that it was just the opposite, um, that it were traits that, uh, that you had that he taught you. Can you share a little bit about that? Sure. Kyle taught me so much in his 23 years that he was with me and uh, with us and our family. Um, dedication and commitment and laughter and just... Um, how to really embody um, faith and family, community. Uh, he just taught me so much. And to this day, everything that we do uh, as a family in our community is examples that Kyle showed us. Uh, whether it's, um, you know, each day doing an act of kindness for someone, and that's done in, in Kyle's honor. Um, every, everything that we do in the community, he showed us. Um, the blood drive that we're having um, here at St. Mary's, that is an example of Kyle also. He was at the age of 16 on the organ donor registry, and he was a universal donor uh, with the American Red Cross. So, again, it's through Kyle's example that he's taught me so much. Um, you know, one of the things that you shared is that you were driving, and... Um and you had a, a desire for him to kind of um, stay home, be close, be safe. Yes. Um, and uh, he was you know, very articulate in sharing with you a quote from Ephesians um, yes. and why it was important for him to kind of take a different step. Um, can you share the, the Ephesians quote and what that meant for him and for you? Yes, yeah, so uh, we were going to get uh, his favorite pizza and I was um, concerned as I said to him, you're one of the most talented, you are the most talented Marine I know. Uh, you're smart, you're strong, you know, my concern is for you there and when you come home. And he said, Mama, I will put on the armor of God. Ephesians chapter 6, verses uh, 10 through 17. I am going to do what I know that I need to do. And Mama, I, I'm going to put on that armor and serve my country in the way I need to. You know, um, he, he joined the Marines uh, at what age? He was 20. 20 years old. Yes. I didn't, I don't think I knew that much scripture at 20. Even now, I mean, I just think that's really amazing. They have a young person that's, 
um, so in tune with himself as a child of God and recognizing what his charge was in the world. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so many times in our Christian faith, and certainly our Catholic faith, we understand that, that human dignity is a very important under, uh, underpinning of how we recognize people. Mm -hmm. And Kyle chose to, to be actively deployed because he recognized that somebody else with that same dignity had to return to their family. So it's that little sense of altruism. Mm -hmm. um, you know, when you, when you think about the blood drive uh, that's happening, you know, what do you think people would, um, what's necessary for them to hear, to understand that it's important to, to give back, to have that commitment to community? Sure. There's a few things that uh, when uh, the American Red Cross called, and this uh, will be our ninth uh, memorial blood drive, and uh, it's usually done at Kraus Hospital, and this year it's not able to due to our current affairs, not only in our community, but nationally. And so when the American Red Cross called and said, we are partnering with St. Mary's Church in Baldwinsville, and we, are, we have an opportunity to honor and remember Kyle and do the memorial blood drive, and they gave us the dates, and I thought, yes. We thought about it as a family, and we prayed on it, and we thought, yes, this is a beautiful way for a community to come together just days before the observed Memorial Weekend. With so many things in our community being canceled um, due to our current state, the, the opportunity to honor and remember, to have those memorial ceremonies, to give the respect that's due to our men and women who were killed in action, this is the opportunity. This is the opportunity to come out um, and give blood and honor and remembrance and to pay tribute to those who have served our country and um, sacrificed their life for the freedoms that we have. Uh, I mentioned to you there's a young man from uh, St. Mary's that is, is entering the Marines, Kevin. And, um, you know, his mom, like all of us, we're always a little bit trepidatious about someone we love taking that next step. But um, for the Marines, I think all those that are in uh, enlisted service, they, they recognize that there's a, there's a calling beyond themselves. In many ways, you know, in Scripture we hear about a vocation, a calling from God. Um, I think that's what Kyle understood, yes. that there was a calling that was bigger than himself, and he wanted to make sure that he participated in that calling. Yes. Um, when you talk to people out there, what would you want them to know about um, living their own lives and understanding that Sometimes the troubles that, that we face every single day, when they're put in perspective, um, they might have a different, uh, a different understanding or a different viewing. Um, he obviously understood that there was a broad concept of commitment to humanity. Um, what can you tell us that will encourage us to be more mindful of others and less concerned about ourselves? Sure, so for us, every act of kindness is freedom extended. It's a form of... Again? so. Uh, yeah, so That's I a great sing. quote. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, every act of kindness is freedom extended. It's what we can do for our family, for our friends, for our community. See, evil took Kyle from us, but what it did not know is that um, goodness and kindness and love will prevail over all evil. And if we can do that each and every day through an act of kindness uh, for us, as a family, that's what we have said. We said that we every act of kindness is freedom extended, that we will each and every day um, honor the fallen, be committed to uh, service, and have the courage to carry on. And it's really been the community through faith, family, community, friends, that get us through each and every day, even today, even today, and being able to have the opportunity to uh, share Kyle with you in the community and to do something like a blood drive that will help so many in our community. That's what it's all about, is coming together and um, getting through each day. With each other. With each other. So uh, yes. you mentioned that, that important word, courage. Uh, tell us how we can be courageous. Give us a little bit of the details about the blood drive. And if someone uh, can't attend or participate in the blood drive, what else can they do to support the foundation? Sure. So um, we have some people that the very first time they've ever given blood has been through Kyle's blood drive. They felt so compelled to want to be able to be a part of this. And um, they've uh, come up to Krauss, and I'm there with them. And we talk through it. And then before they know it, 
they're done giving blood and they're like, I did it. And I'm like, yeah, it's, you're all done. And now they've given maybe eight times, you know, because their first time was uh, nine years ago. So this would be their eighth time giving. So having the courage to say, okay, I can do this. I can get past my whatever fear. Sometimes it's parking in the city or in the garage or giving blood. Just getting, so for me, putting, giving more and putting something, um, it helps me with my fears. So if I can give more, I get through each day better. So I think that if they give more, then you can go outside of what you're fearful of. Absolutely. So if someone can't, uh, if they're not able to, uh, to, to donate blood, how can they learn more about the foundation? How can they contribute to the foundation themselves? Sure, so the foundation was created uh, to honor and remember Kyle and to do uh, examples of what he showed us. And so I would say that um, you can visit our webpage, you can visit our Facebook, but really just make a difference in the community in any way that you can. Um, even as I tell my students that I'm at Ray Middle School uh, is a teaching assistant, and I tell my students it's as easy as smiling and just making a difference in somebody's day. Again, every act of kindness is freedom extended. Just be kind. And if you see a neighbor that needs something, help take care of that neighbor. Um, our foundation does a lot of things like the Caring Hands program, um, care packages, um, helping deliver food, uh, those kind of things. Uh, the St. Mary's Church has done uh, care package drives for us. and. There, we have the room up at the VA, so those items go up to the VA and help all of our veterans at the VA. They get shipped out to our deployed, so they help our deployed, but they also help our local veterans yeah. right here. Uh, as a thank you, uh, we want to let our veterans know that we're here for you, and we thank you. So with that, uh, I know the community here at St. Mary's and certainly the community at, uh, at St. Augustine's, we thank you uh, for your witness and for your presence, and we thank you for, uh, for raising a great young man that all of us can learn from. Um, you know, I was reading um, his prayer card, if I could, and it's the Marines' prayer. Um, and I wonder if I could just share a little bit. So um, you might need to, to pet him. He's a little spoiled. Uh, so it says here, uh, if I am inclined to doubt, steady my faith. If I am tempted, make me strong to resist. If I should miss the mark, give me courage to try again. Guide me with the light of truth and grant me wisdom by which I may understand the answer to my prayers. So I think Kyle is an answer to so many's prayers, and I think your presence is likewise an answer. Um, we just hope that we continue to ask the right questions so that we can be dedicated to the community and dedicated to his memory and what you continue to do. Yes. So thank you very much, yes. and uh, you. if you would like to make a, a contribution, a, a monetary contribution, you can certainly do that to the foundation, and if you want to send that to the parish, and we'll make sure that we, uh, we turn that to you guys. Thank you. Sounds, any last words? Thank you. Uh, I truly believe that uh, it is truly by the grace of God and the spirit of an amazing angel that I am who I am today. And I think that uh, we all have a chance each and every day to make a difference in uh, our community and in somebody's uh, life. And if you can uh, join us on the 19th uh, next week or the 20th and donate blood uh, in honor and remembrance of a uh, fallen uh, daughter, son, husband, uh, Father, it would be amazing. So we hope Amen. to see you at the blood drive. Thank you very much. Thank Thanks. You. Thanks, everybody.